This is Form 1099 Miscellaneous for 2020. Um, if you've used this form in the past, you'll probably recognize that there's no place on the form this year to enter non-employee compensation. The reason for that is the IRS has this new form, NEC, which, use, which is used for non-employee compensation. However, um, miscellaneous is still used for things such as rent, royalties, other income, etc. So I want to um, show you how to uh, electronically file this form this year if you want to, um, instead of paper filing. Um, there's several advantages to that. Um, one is that you don't have to order the paper form from the IRS. And also, if you electronically file, you don't have to file this form here, this 1096. That's not required with electronic filing. So there's, those are a couple of the advantages. I filled out this form uh, to show uh, two individuals where one pays rent to the other. So this is the form that you would use to report that to the IRS. So you have the payer is John Smith and he's renting an office from Ed Jones and he's paid uh, $21,000 to Jones for the office space. So he needs to report that to the IRS. So um, he filled out his information, his address, and this is his ID, his social security number, and Ed Jones is here and his social security number is here and then the amount of rent goes here. So um, we've added some extra fields here to help us with the electronic filing. And the first one, um, you click to review your form to see if you have any form errors, and then you save your form uh, to your computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, you'll see this button shows up here. We we'll click on the button, and we click here to save our file and we say save and do we want to replace we'll say yes so that's how that works now let's go down to our next question here it says if this is the last form you're filing today and are you ready to uh, electronically file check the box uh, it may be that uh, john smith rents from someone else or maybe he has another uh, form to file for some other reason in any case Let's suppose that he has two forms to file, so he figures he files, uh, fills this one out first and saves it. And then, if this is the last one, uh, he would check this box, and there's some additional information for him to enter down here. Uh, so, his contact name and phone number and email address are uh, what we need for that. And then, uh, down here, we have an option to uh, print and mail copy B for you. Uh, if you scroll down here, copy B is right there, and this needs to be mailed to the recipient, uh, to Ed Jones. Uh, and if you want us to do that for you, you would check this box, and if you've got two forms, you'd enter a two right there, like that, and the cost would be $9. Um, so the final question here is, uh, are you ready to electronically file? And if you are, you would check this box for a final review. And then uh, you would, uh, well, let me show you. I'll check this box. And then it says um, you have another button here uh, where you can uh, pay for your uh, electronically filing. And then you'll be, uh, you'll be, go to another screen where you can upload your form. So if I click right here like that, it'll say, do I want to save? And I'll say yes. And I'll save it again just like I did before. Save and replace just like that. Now I come to this page where I can pay for my forms by clicking this drop down list and selecting two forms for $9. And then I'm going to click pay now. But uh, before I do that, let me just uh, emphasize or highlight this information here. Uh, after your payment, you want to be sure to click Return to Merchant rather than the Back button because uh, if you click the back, back button, you won't be able to upload your forms. So here we go. Let's click on Pay Now. And then that takes me to PayPal. Uh, you don't need a PayPal account to 
pay for this you can pay with a credit card by clicking here uh, and then you have this page where you enter your credit card information and then when you're done entering it you're going to click on pay now now when I'm done with my payment I need to click uh, return to merchant was down here at the bottom now I come to this form where I can upload my files to the IRS so I'm going to click here to choose file and it opened up to where I have saved my files uh, that may not happen for you you might need to click over here to navigate to your uh, to where you saved your files on your computer uh, but for me it opened up right to where I saved my files and so here's my first one um, and I'm going to open it up and I need to check this box to prove I'm not a robot then I'll upload it then I get this message that I was successful with my upload and I need to click here to open up my second file which is this one right here and I'll open up that one and click this again and upload and again it was successful so now I'm done with uh, my electronic refiling so thanks for listening